Hello Star Souls, welcome to my channel. This is gonna be a shorter, um, a bit more light-hearted type of pick a card. We're going to do a singles, ooh, okay, a singles forecast. So who is coming towards you for all of my singles out there, my single people, my tribe who are not in a relationship. So I prepared these channeled artworks, three pieces of art that I feel are infused with light codes and I would love you to receive the energy, but I would also love you to pick your pile through, you know, viewing the artwork. So I <laughs> I'll show them to you now and I hope you enjoy them. I hope you feel a resonance and it's easier for you to choose your pile. So, excuse me. So these are the three cards. I'm gonna show them up close. This is pile one, pile two, and pile three. And so now, pile one, you can take a closer look if you resonate with this card, with the symbols. This is for my singles who would resonate with pile one. This is for pile two. Oh, my nose is all itchy. <laughs> hmm. You guys are not speaking your truth. Collectively. What are you hiding, my loves? <laughs> um, I think collectively you guys are hiding something. But yeah, this is pile two. I love the core. It's so beautiful. So if you've been working with the blue flame or a lot of celestial angelic beings, I think this is going to be your pile. And then for pile three, we have these bolder colors, red and yellow. We have like these almost like mountains, if you can notice. The camera cannot really pick up on some details, but it's fine. This is some light language. So this is pile three. Okay, so let's do this. I am super excited for this. I felt really cold to channel sigils actually. Um, and I'll be doing this more and present them to you. Um, I'll be showing more of my crafty stuff because I feel like my guides and my ancestors have been working through me to craft different things. So you can expect more of that um, in hopes that it brings a specific frequency to your consciousness and it helps your intuition expand. So. Pile one, welcome. Let's see who is coming towards you guys. So first of all, I want to just say something. Um, pile one, you are very ascended, ascended souls. Meaning, I feel like you've graduated art school a couple of times and you're one of the three waves. Please research Dolores Cannon um, work, her work on the, tr uh, on the three waves, but you are part of a really big, big soul collective or a cluster of souls, of soul families. Mm. So your mission, Pile One, is very global. Now, let's get into your singles forecast. I get carried away with spiritual messages, but yeah. Um, let's see who is coming your way. What's going on in your love life pile one? You've got no more tears left to cry. Yes, actually, Ariana's song is coming through, but mm, not the entire song, simply that sentence. And I just kind of connected the two. Um, I am getting you purified a lot. 
um, you've cleansed a lot. You're attracting something on a really high, high level. Um, you're meant to be in a very purposeful relationship. You're meant to be with someone that will support your service towards humanity. It's like you cannot date um, in the normal human sense or your person will be very, very quirky um, or just both of you are very high level consciousness, very ascended. Your ascension journey is a priority and I feel like you will blend your ascension timelines and you will respect each other. But the relationship will never be the priority for you, Pile 1. It's always gonna be your purpose and your mission. And it's just that the two of you would click. You are meant to click with your partner when it comes to your mission. That's why it didn't work in the past. Optimism reversed. Okay, this is crazy. Um, because, yeah, it didn't work in the past. Um, and what I'm getting is... Maybe you've been in a karmic loop, in a karmic cycle when it comes to love. But your, your guides are showing that... Um, it's not it's not your consciousness manifesting against you. It's not that you have any blockages or whatever. It's simply that your mission was meant to be a priority. With optimism in reverse, I can see that many of you are a little doubtful. You feel down and you're like, yeah, I don't know if love is entering my life anytime soon. Or you always tend to approach new people and new relationships with skepticism. I feel like some of you rejected an earth sign or you are dealing with an Aquarius, wanting to reject an Aquarius. It feels to me like there is a connection between an air and an earth sign and one person wants to reject the other. This is a blocked path and it was blocked for a reason. And I think um, a, a very important message when it comes to your love life that is coming through is do not allow one door to dictate your entire narrative, your entire story. One little event cannot define the narrative of your love life. Who is coming towards you? Four of intentions, taking steps, once again reversed. Hmm. This is someone who has been pretty stagnant behind the mask. Wow. I feel like the person coming towards you is someone that most of you already know. I'm sorry, singles. I, I'm not sensing someone new necessarily. Um, yeah, it's someone that has been hiding. For many of you, this is someone that you parted ways with and... There is a coming back around type of energy here. This could... Oh, because we have these two backs, you see, the backs of the women. And then we have behind the mask. So I do feel like this can be someone on social media who is hiding. The person coming towards you can be someone who likes to keep themselves anonymous. Um... There's someone who struggles to see their light um, or 
they struggle to show their true colors. They are in a space of learning how to express themselves. Did you have a tendency to run from relationships? I'm getting a lot of Cinderella vibes um, and I feel like the funny thing is for some of you the person coming into your life is the Cinderella um, role in the movie they play that role and you play the prince coming towards you professional assistance and the loving woman wow okay um <laughs> I feel like they recently left their school, their job to pursue what they truly want to pursue, but they're still keeping it secret from their family. They keep their plans secret. This is someone who is just entering their field of desires when it comes to their purpose, their mission. Um, and I'm getting that they like to keep under wraps what they love to do and what they truly believe in. I think this is someone who may come towards you with need for professional assistance. I feel like they find you very loving um, and they respect you a lot. This is someone who is going to respect you a lot. They are a bit youthful because they do tend to turn their back on people um, when it's convenient for them. But I feel a lot of respect that they will have for you. And for that reason, I feel like they will stick around, but it will take them some time to reveal their true nature. So someone here is in the field of counseling or coaching, planning and action. Wow, okay. Oh, this is interesting because you have someone in your environment that is hidden. You may even feel like they have their back on you, but in actuality, they, they watch you. They stare at you, they look at you, they look at your direction. And I do see that they've gone through some sort of professional assistance or counseling. Um, and it, it has helped them open their heart. This will be someone who's done healing on themselves, just like you. This will be someone who's gone through therapy of some kind to open their heart chakra. And it's almost like they've come alive. Um, it feels to me that you're going to meet and around that time, they will be taking steps towards breaking down the mask, or learning about themselves, seeing their light and true nature. Their guides will start communicating with them about their mission and they will show them the light. Basically, they will illuminate their path around the time they meet you. And this is very, very beautiful because I feel like you would witness the complete turnaround of personality within this person. Um, it's almost like at the beginning they will be a bit skeptical, they will be doubtful, they won't be able to see their light, they're just not in a good space. And something about coming in contact with you um, shifts things, it shifts their perspective on how they should 
move in life and they will start taking steps outside of their comfort zone seeking help there will be a heart chakra opening or healing and i feel like it's gonna be done through some sort of psychological mental health therapy not so much spiritual as much as it is psychological and you know um mental type of counseling and then with planning and action they will actually be able to gain back some energy i feel like they've lost their drive their energy um it's almost like the colors are coming back to to their face you know to their complexion because i see them being very pale at the beginning like a lost soul and you would witness how the fire is ignited within them and how they warm up to towards you that is so beautiful in this relationship that you will they will not be like um all about you from the very beginning they will not be all warm and stuff but they will warm up and at some point i feel like they will be super loving and super um not attached but um and just warm and very expressive with their emotions there is this just beautiful um great transformation great change and they will start including you in their plans for the future which is a huge sign a very beautiful sign um because in the past they didn't like such commitments they didn't like long-term future planning and commitment uh with another person even with friends they might have struggled but now it's kind of like at the beginning maybe it was hard for you to take a grip on them or take a hold of them like they would always be busy and all that but whilst they play a bit hard to get it in the beginning at that very time at that very same time they will be like looking at you checking what you're doing um and kind of um growing fond of you behind the scenes okay <laughs> this person will grow fond of you behind the scenes and suddenly they will snap and show a lot of feelings a lot of emotion and become very vulnerable i'm getting something about that they want to touch your hair i don't know um and we have a lot of hair actually showing in the cards they want to touch your hair or they like how you smell they're very um very much like an earth venus or something or even earth mars or eros in an earth sign um taurus virgo capricorn but especially taurus maybe virgo as well but especially taurus because I, i'm getting that they're very sensitive to um to the to the five senses stimulation that you provide them with so who is this person coming into pile one's life okay sagittarius and scorpio oh they could be a cusp um a lot of passion oh my goodness yeah um with scorpio exactly that type of energy where they will hold back a little bit be not mysterious but simply worry um or what's the word wary <laughs> wary of you they would be just low-key suspicious low-key suspicious um but then with the sagittarius card i feel like you will really um intrigue them to the point where they're willing to take a risk and change their routine for you wow yes scorpio is some stubborn energy and sagittarius brings in that fire of change transformation and risk getting out of the desert and kind of becoming um scorpio is a very powerful even not just a zodiac sign but as an animal the scorpion is very powerful however the scorpion hides underneath the sand right and it only stinks if it's threatened while sagittarius is like the hunter it has that instinctual nature to hunt um so what i'm getting is that this person will 
get out of this energy of waiting around for someone to take the first action, take the first steps forward. And after they get out of this energy, they will be like, screw it. I'm going to shoot my shot with this person. So I really like that. Um, and you can expect a certain change in the way they communicate, even on social media. If they are more reserved at the beginning, at some point there will be like this very precise point and here they have been re reserved and all that and suddenly it's not even going to be a small transition it's going to be very sudden like suddenly they warm up to you they constantly chat with you they send you songs they send you pictures and things like that um i do feel like you're going to meet an ex in an unexpected way even if it's through a very mundane type of um situation for example common friends common circles things like that the same school setting the same work environment even if that's the case and it seems mundane on the surface what i'm getting is that there will be an element of whoa i really didn't see that coming Ooh. excuse me okay <laughs> i'm sorry for this um yeah anyways so so even the way they communicate on social media will change. Hmm. Let's see. For some of you, I don't know, I'm getting something about them being surrounded by very protective people. Maybe their family, maybe even their ancestors are protective. Oh yes, oh yes, with Scorpio and Sagittarius. This person, first of all, they will test your patience. Second of all, they will test you in all other areas. Um, they will ask very good questions. The type of questions where you feel comfortable talking about, you know, expressing yourself and your truth, but at the same time, they will gain a lot of information. They know how to get information out of you and i'm sorry pile one if you take pride in being mysterious and secretive and all that this person knows how to break through that shell um yeah like and, and they will again put you through tests without you even feeling like it they will test your patience for sure but there is deep passion here. Both Scorpio and Sagittarius are very, very, very passionate signs. So we like that. I mean, at least I do. <laughs> I love passionate lovers. Come on. So let's see who is coming into your life pile one. Hmm, I'm thinking of dream state and I'm getting a lot of purples and blues. You either have a telepathic connection with this person or you actually dream of each other. Spirit of Cups. Oh my gosh, absolutely. I'm not sure if this is the Knight or the Page of Cups in traditional tarot, but absolutely, look at it. Look at her. She is in her cocoon, about to transform, and she's sleeping. And she is naked. So, if you ever spend a late night with this person, you would notice that they open up more when, once the sun goes down. Like when it becomes night time, they just open up a lot more. They talk on a deeper, about deeper things. Um, so who is this person? This person really pays attention to their inner world. I'm telling you, both of you are very... On a very high psychic frequency. Nine of Wands. This person knows defeat and victory. They know their strengths and weaknesses. And they know that life is about the ups and downs. They have mastered the art of transformation. 
they take a lot of pride in rising up from the ashes. Scorpio and Sagittarius, such a great um, metaphor for the transitions they go through. This person may have some struggles with siblings. Especially I'm getting, if this is a male, I'm getting brother, brothership, brotherhood relationship here. Um, there is comparison between them and their sibling, but especially I'm getting two males here. Nine of Swords. Wow. Um, this person has battle scars that they want to hide. They really express their battle scars um, through art, creativity, poetry. Poetry especially is big here. But one thing that I'm getting for you guys is this person... <laughs> this person. <laughs> okay, this person might actually have body scars like physical scars or something that they're super insecure about their body that they want to hide and it could be something around the chest area um for some of you they may they might have suffered with some heart or chest issues due to anxiety due to some sort of mental pressure they express that the best through their creativity, but they hold their world of creativeness very dear, very dear to themselves and very private. So you know they've let you in or you know they really like you once they start to talk about their creative expression once they share like that piece of art with you or that piece of poetry with you and even if they explain what it meant oh my goodness pile one you know that this person is like they've shot their shot they've they, they took the risk they took the risk once they let you so so close to themselves you know they took the risk forecast who is coming towards you i'm getting a crystal bow for some of you this person loves organites or crystals or this type of decoration or they can actually um read in a crystal bow who is coming towards pile one coming towards pile one. So pile one, I don't want you to underestimate the depth of this person because they will try to appear shallow or you would get that impression at the very first beginning because they have so much to hide. But I'm getting that when they're their most authentic self, their depth shines. So do not um, write them off just because at the beginning they give you an impression of someone a bit just a bit shallow you know so we have the hanged man and we have the hierophant the card came out reversed all the cards are upright because that's what i vibe with lately i don't like reversals lately at least not in my tarot but this one really turned upside down so wow oh my goodness with the hanged man and the hierophant this person has 
when I was shuffling, I was kind of thinking of clues to recognize this person or clues to recognize they're close to you. Foundations will be questioned. Tradition will be questioned. Authority will be questioned. Oh my goodness, they refuse, okay, look, uh -huh, I'm sorry, they refuse to, so the Hierophant, you see, you see the card, he is the bridge between the Seeker and the Forest of Initiation, and then you have the Hangman, they refuse to be in communication with you through someone else, they refuse to keep an excuse for talking to you. This person wants to like have such intimacy with you that they don't mind just texting you randomly, let's hang out. They don't want to look for excuses. So at the beginning of your connection, both of you, or especially they, may feel that they need to have an excuse to ask you out. They have to have an excuse to text you, to ask you a question, to get the communication and the connection going. And I'm getting that they want to burn that bridge. They want to burn everything that connects you, but at the same time, put so much distance between you. Because think about it. If your job connects you, at the same time, it puts a lot of distance because it's almost like, yeah, that is the only thing that we can communicate around or the only reason. And I, I don't want that. You know, they will be very, um, they're like a ticking bomb. I'm telling you, <laughs> at some point they will get pissed. They will be like, I'm sick of this traditional approach. Let's get to know each other, blah, blah, blah. I just want to, I just want to make it feel like we've known each other our whole lives because very quickly they will realize there is a soulmate bond here. Um, and yeah, they refuse tradition to be something that connects you or traditional manners to be something that helps the connection, connection grow, but it also slows it down. With the hanged men, something about timing is important here. They don't want this to move slow. And again, it's going to be like this point, breaking point, and the beginning was slow, they were kind of running away, kind of skeptical, and then suddenly, boom, they are all in. So this person is all or nothing, they have that type of personality. And they're also refusing um, for people to stand between the two of you. Which is very interesting. I'm getting that they don't want this relationship to be influenced by other people or witnessed by other people. With the hanged men, I feel like they are sacrificing a lot of their usual behaviors in relationships. They're willing to sacrifice what is known, what the, the territory that they have explored, okay? Um, so... They feel a bit unprepared to jumping into this, but they are jumping. Because once again, the Hierophant is that bridge, the teacher that wants to slowly prep you and alchemize you in the cauldron and then initiate you into the forest. But reversed, it's like, I don't have time to be prepared for this. I just gotta jump. Super interesting. Oh my gosh, I love this energy. Uh, I feel like... I want to pull one more card, okay. One more card. Ooh. Three of Cups. Yes. They know that you are a very powerful match. They will quickly pick up on that. At the beginning, they're doubting it. But at some point, you know, at some point they'll be like, yeah, the attraction is just very powerful. The magnetism is very powerful here. Three of Cups. Let me let me see. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, you really guys push each other. Just something that I picked up on in here as well. Um, you really push each other to connect with the stars, with these higher realms, higher levels of consciousness. If you meditate together or do some type of ritual together, it's going to be very powerful. So, pile one. Quite interesting. I feel like some of you may already know this person. For others, no, because it's a singles forecast. But I truly hope you resonated with the messages. Definitely um, let me know in the comment section below. Um, oops, that was kind of quick improvised but i just felt the deepest biggest urge to come <laughs> and film a reading a love reading specifically so i had to follow through um by the way you can expect more channeled messages with these cards because i feel like they are also great activations for my star seeds so i'm gonna do something really pretty and really visually stimulating on my instagram page in the upcoming days so be be alert for that and yeah thank you pile one so much for watching this if you want to book a personal right now i am all booked so please wait for availability on my coffee page for slots for commissions um and yeah emailing me you guys to ask for sessions or to ask to be on a waiting list is not working for me currently because i'm trying to save up time by creating the commissions so if there is no commission tab you can't find it then it means i'm sold out currently Checking around the weekend, this is usually when I've done my previous sessions and I'm ready to release new slots. So thank you so, so much for that patience and respect. Um, and yeah, if you want to support my work, you can always donate on my coffee page or through my PayPal. And the best way to support me actually is to like, share and subscribe my con to my content. Um, and yeah, thank you so, so much for being here with me. I hope you enjoyed this. So let's move on to pile number two. Pile number two, if you're watching all the piles and you're not moving through timestamps, I'll take a quick break. So we tune into pile two and then I will timestamp it. Pile number two welcome you chose this um channeled light code encoded artwork and what i'm picking up on for you guys is that there is a huge portal opening so with pile number one i kind of started off with some spiritual messages and i feel like that's what i want to do for you as well and then we're going to jump into your singles forecast but yeah as i mentioned in the selection um, part of this video, you guys are definitely communicating with angelic beings, angelic forces. You are definitely, oh my goodness, working with the blue flame. This is, this feels extremely galactic, okay? Extremely far out, more even than pile one. I don't want to compare, but it's what I'm feeling. And honestly, I'm getting that strong mediumship gifts are opening up here. You have a lot of spirits. It's not even your ancestors. Spirits on the other side like you, piles you, and they support you in all of your endeavors. And you have like a new guide emerging in your field. There is a portal opening to a higher dimension. Some of you have been doing portal opening rituals or practices and a new guide is emerging through that stargate or a planetary gate. Some of you have been working with particular planets. This is some deep, deep work where you connect with a very high, high being. This is a lot of Arcturian energy, by the way. <laughs> so let's move into your um, singles forecast. So that was like my short, 
you know, um, um, a spiritual message. <laughs> I just felt that these cards are very, very convenient and practical for channeling star seed or galactic messages. So, yeah. But let's get into who is coming towards you in love, what's going on for you in love. Five two. With that portal, I do see some of you are attracting a very um, pure, innocent person. Some of you are attracting... Um, A true light worker, or I want to say crystal soul. I'm just getting a deep, deep, deep sense of purity here. You're attracting someone with light features for the majority of you. And I'm saying attracting because I do get some practice of conscious creation of your environment. Okay, you're not just waiting for things to fall into your lap. You are really finding that power within yourself to consciously put things into your into your life including your lover you are manifesting a person that will make you question or reevaluate your usual type Fire one had this card, but upright. So behind the mask, reversed. My cat. <laughs> okay, my cat. Ooh, oh my gosh. My cat calling out and meowing outside of my room and behind the mask, reversed. Mm. Some of you have been in communication with the higher self of this person before you even met. I'm getting a calling from a distance. So it's almost like in the astro, you can feel someone. You know, you, you can sense someone coming into your life. But you've never met this person. And I do get someone here is living overseas. There is distance between you. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna show a game. Um Sorry, because I'm getting the same cards as in pile one and I'm not vibing with it. Oh, a quick trick or tip for my tarot readers, oracle card readers. Just because a card pops up, if you really don't resonate with it or you're like, mm, I don't know, I don't know about this. You can either put it back in the deck or put it aside. You don't have to read it just because it came through. Not every card that would come out, especially if you're not feeling it, you know, most of the time I would feel it. But 1% in situations, I won't feel the card. Do not be afraid to put it back. Do not feel like the universe has spoken, I gotta listen. Because cards really work with you and you personally. Um, so if you feel like a card is not, not your card, then... Quickly trust that gut feeling. Okay, we've got discovery, eight of intentions. Oh, wow, look, look how beautiful this is. He's found something very beautiful. I'm telling you, you guys are attracting someone extremely angelic. They're like a gem. They're very, very beautiful. Um, and they don't have to, to have light features to be beautiful or something. I'm pointing to myself because I have light features and, and pale skin and all, all that. Um, not at all. It's just that 
they have like so much light and brightness around them that I feel like the majority of them would have light features. And I'm picking up on this even in, in this card. But, you know, at the end of the day, the energy has nothing to do with the skin color. My goodness, I don't even know why I have to express that. But I'm trying to be all encompassing here. New beginnings. Look at that. Look at the baby. I'm telling you, oh my gosh, they will be like a child. They will be like young and just bright and etheric almost. They will carry themselves with this etheric aura, this etheric vibe. Okay, let me let me look at the cards. Pile two, what's going on here? Someone here is a babysitter is what I'm getting or used to be. Or someone here babysitted their sibling. You guys in pile one are very similar, but at least for some messages, you know, siblings are coming up in both piles. That's interesting. You have same cards. Now, you're attracting someone who is just discovering the beauty of living close to nature, living an organic, holistic lifestyle. Um, this person is also definitely doing something with nature. It's almost like they might be involved in ecological projects. Um, they have a vintage style for sure. So sometimes they might uh, dress up like a grandpa or grandma. Um, but it really suits them, is what I'm getting. And at the same time, even though they have a vintage style, they have this etheric, childlike vibe. Very pure, pure vibe and energy. And a clue that will help you recognize them is that around the time you meet, they will be just discovering the benefits from a plant-based diet, holistic lifestyle, um, going out in nature more. They're very connected to the water and water spirits, so they're kind of like a siren. So pile to be careful, this person is. Um, as much as they're beautiful and attractive, they're very hypnotic as well. So it's kind of like... You see this child and you think, yeah, they're innocent. They must be. They don't know what they're doing. I trust them. But... Mm, <laughs> there is something like, oh my gosh, aren't they way too positive? Way too happy? Um, because you have behind the mask reversed. So... They're not trying to hide themselves or anything. The truth is they are still discovering themselves. But because they have this siren quality, their ancestors were sirens. Some of, they, uh, some of them were Venusians. Their lineage is very Venusian. Like they're actually beings from Venus or they connect with ancestors from Venus. And this siren quality is to protect them. So being etheric, angelic, pure, light, it's not that it's false, it is true, it's their true nature is what I'm getting, so don't worry about that. But at the same time, it's a protection mechanism. So they may keep you hypnotized for quite some time before, before you feel like you're actually getting to know them. So you may be enchanted by them. They may love to dance, is what I'm getting, or they want to dance with you, or you would love to dance with them. You want to see them move. You want to see them like, like, like dance and like flow, um, is what I'm getting pile to you. They just have some sort of power over you with all of their light. They're so encompassing and enchanting and I truly feel like you would feel like you found a gem you discovered a gem 
So this person is very natural. I'm getting they're not much into makeup. They're not much into dressing up. Um, they're very natural. Their beauty is very natural. Because I'm hearing in a world full of plastic. So you would notice that they really stand out. Even in their community, you can really tell them apart from their friends, from their community, from their local community as well. They just stand out. Joyous fun reversed. Oh my goodness. Oh, I'm sorry. I saw a star through my window. <laughs> Joyous fun. You have the amusement park reversed. So, yeah, I was really getting something fishy in that baby. I'm sorry. I'm the type of Scorpio who looks at a child and is like... Who are you gonna become when you grow up? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, like, I really... I, and because today I actually spoke to my mom about this, how children are beautiful and innocent, but you can, you can see the person they're gonna grow into. If you really look. If you really decide to look. And these are some truths that you know i feel like people don't want to face like oh my gosh that's just a kid it's a child but like hmm that child is gonna grow up and that's exactly what i'm getting from them so this is honestly a very beautiful person inside out but they suffered something in their childhood and they stayed they remained in their childlike nature, in their even their appearance remained very childlike. Because something happened in their childhood and they found out their innocence is their camouflage or best way to protect themselves. And for the hundredth um, time, it's not that it's fake, but they just learned how to benefit from it. So they learned how to use their qualities, their best qualities to their advantage. But yeah, they are hiding something from their childhood. And you would notice that behind the persona of I'm such a happy, such a happy person connected with my inner child, um, love and light and peace. There is something underneath that. I feel like this is someone... Because I'm getting that they really want to do something great in their life and serve their community. But I feel like this is someone who constantly feels underappreciated. Like they constantly want to be acknowledged and discovered. They kind of look up to you, piles you. This person looks up to you. They look up look up to you as someone who can protect them and someone who can see their truth and discover them. They want to be discovered, they want to be unraveled. Milestone reversed. I feel like that when they were kids, they were outshined. Maybe by their parents even. Maybe by other children. They were compared a lot to other children. Or they seem to compare themselves. So this person needs a lot of reassurance.
Okay, this card is coming up for the second time. I'm gonna take it. We have taking steps and we have a teacher reversed. They were not appreciated by their teachers and they decided to go off on their own. But this created a major, a major inner issue of feeling inadequate to be professional at what they do. So they can be very intuitive, very talented, naturally, but because they were rejected by an authority in their childhood, especially, someone told them, you ain't talented, you ain't got it in you. And they took it upon themselves, which is good for them, amazing, to actually work on these skill sets and achieve what they want to achieve. But the truth is that deep down, they still feel inadequate because they didn't go through a system. They weren't uh, validated by an authority. Their only validation is probably the people who support their work. Um, and themselves, like they are their own validation. And I think that this person is holding a very steady life, um, a very steady picture of their life, but they're so ready to crumble. Oh my gosh. This person, um, you are meeting this person because you are now learning, you're being, I love this word, initiated. I just love it. Um, it's such a great word to use for our lessons, actually. I think we need to talk more about initiations. They don't only happen in a temple. They don't, they don't only happen through a ritual. Initiations happen very frequently through the cycles of our own psyche developing. So I think initiation is a very powerful word to, rem word to remind you that you are on this mission, you are on this journey and your experiences are valid and much more meaningful than you think. So this meeting, this partner coming into your life, this is your initiation to develop simultaneously your intuition and your empathy. Because you are either way too much in one or the other. So you need both. And this person will train you without them realizing, probably, but they will train you how to use both. Blue for me is like, this card gives me a strong sense of empathy because I'm getting that angelic vibe, but also I'm getting celestial, highly intelligent, highly ascended masterful so with deep intuition so you're mixing your wisdom with your heart your third eye with your heart chakra your crown with your heart you're bridging these two so seeing the truth this person is teaching you how seeing the truth of someone seeing their pain when they try to hide it, when they try to heal it, seeing their pain and seeing their flaws and their human nature will no longer repel you or you will no longer be like, this person still needs healing, I am healed, I deserve something better. No, you're actually going to start honor the healing process within other people because should I be honest with you about you, I feel like sometimes when you notice insecurity or, you know, that type of energy within another person, you might be a little bit repelled because they remind you of where you used to be. So this person truly mirrors where you used to be in the past. And they're initiating you into com developing compassion for yourself as well, for these past aspects of you as well. They're reminding you of all the steps you took. They are your teacher. You may feel like you're teaching them, but they're teaching you. Who is coming towards Pile 2? Who is coming into your life, Pile 2? This feels like a water sign, especially Pisces rising or Neptune. Neptune in the first house. 
Pisces meet heaven as well. Cancer, moon in the first house. Not so much Scorpio, honestly. But Pisces and Cancer and the ruling planet, so Neptune and Moon in the first house or the Midheaven. Okay, we have Gemini. Mirroring. So contracts, the lovers. Someone here is um, in the fashion industry. Maybe they're in the fashion industry. Maybe they're in a, in like a, they self promote or something, and, and they feel a bit inadequate to be a model or an actor or even a musician for, for some of you. But um, they're quite skilled, quite talented with Gemini. Um, they're very adaptable. Jupiter, ooh, Jupiter. So Gemini and Jupiter, this person has a lot of friends. They network a lot. You're attracting someone popular. Someone famous. I mean, famous, like with social media today, anybody could be considered famous, you know, but I'm definitely getting someone who is self-promoting, like they are becoming the brand because it's almost like they fulfill all the roles in their career. They're the manager, they are the, the product, <laughs> they're the face of the product, of the brand. And with Jupiter, this is someone who people love. People want to help this person. I'm telling you, they are a siren. Their luck lies within their community. One more card, please. I'm hearing they are someone who stands up for social rights. So they may be including that in their branding. This one. Capricorn. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Yeah, they're climbing the ladder. They are climbing the ladder without anyone teaching them. You are attracting someone who is very capable. Despite their childlike nature. I mean, again, this feels more... Um, it is who they are, but it's also a coping mechanism. They can be very serious, very serious, very practical, very skilled, very professional. But they like to also keep it lighthearted, you know? It's just what they vibe with. It's not that they cannot go professional and like dress up in a suit, in a nice dress and show up to that expensive fancy dinner um, to network. It's not that, but they prefer lighthearted energy. They would post a meme on their social media account. They would connect with their community in a very lighthearted way. Um, they don't want to be viewed as a star. This is not the type of validation they're seeking. They want validation and all that for their gifts for the fact that they did it on their own, but they're not craving celebrity-like fame, basically. It's more like they want to be recognized for their personality and their vibes instead of being a celebrity or something. They want to be recognized for the way they serve their community, for the huge amount of um, with Jupiter pour out. They have a huge pour out of energy towards their community. With Capricorn in tradition, so they might be taking care of a parent as well. 
Yeah, with Jupiter, this is someone who has an inheritance. And I feel like people do not suspect that because they look so self-made. And they are. And I think that they don't want to benefit much from the inheritance, from their ancestors, their family members. Um, and there is something manipulative here a little bit. Um, they want to do it on their own. They want to discover their own journey. They don't want to be dependent on anyone. Um, and people may think, yeah, this person made it from bottom to uh, rock bottom to top. But actually, they've always had a support. Um, they've always had some sort of stability in their family situation, financially especially. Or they always had a safe choice, is what I'm getting. So they really want to be discovered and appreciated for taking the alternative road. Eight of Cups. They left the comfort zone. They really allowed their higher self to take them into new territories. Who is coming towards Pile you? Maybe they suffered divorce. Maybe their parents divorced. Who is coming towards Pile you? King of Pentacles. They got their finances on point. Pile two. But they are not greedy, which is so cool. You know, they wouldn't go out of their way, uh, out of their way just for money. They're not greedy. With the Eight of Cups, they're not afraid to walk away. Three of Swords, yeah. I'm getting that they're not afraid to walk away from someone who is disturbing their vibe. Someone who is just not on their wavelength. This person knows what they want with this Capricorn energy, they just do. This indecisive childlike nature of Gemini, it's it's such a surface level thing. The truth is that they know exactly what they want. Wow. Oh my gosh. I would rather be free than live in a golden cage. They are, look at that. They've cut off the chains and they're cutting off their wrist. This person has a passion and a drive to grow. They have a passion to push themselves. They have a passion to make it difficult for themselves and then feel proud for growing through that. either someone who abandoned their religion or someone who used to be an atheist they didn't believe in anything now they believe in something they've discovered this higher power <laughs> yeah spirit of wands this is so funny i love it when cards just confirm what i just said prior to pulling them so spirit of wands yeah, they have discovered this higher power. They used to be alone. So this used to be someone with a small community, almost no friends. They used to be a loner. And they discovered all of their gemstones. Look at that. Look at that. They discovered that all they need was within themselves. 
I'm so proud of this person. That's amazing. What about the connection? You know, I didn't focus much on the connection. I focused on them a lot. What about the connection? Lady of Pentacles and you have the Lord of Pentacles. This is crazy. Look at that. This is an absolute... Um, soulmate connection just like pile one these piles are so beautiful this connection will be extremely nurturing there will be so much growth you're gonna grow such healthy habits through this connection wow and Someone will start or initiate the other person into holistic lifestyle, a healthier lifestyle with this Queen of Pentacles. What about the connection? No one should know. What about the connection? I'm seeing a snail. This is a slow moving connection. Mm. Not just a slow moving connection. Spirit is saying that I'm being too shallow with my interpretations. Snails are... The trace that they leave is very healing actually. This connection is very healing. It's almost like you have the elixir, you have the cure, you have the exact um, gel or cream, if you will, um, to put on each other's wounds. Because what I saw is two snails enveloping, you know, intertwining to make love, which is so beautiful because um, I don't know why I'm getting that there is no gender in, in that. There's something about equality, like gender really does not play a role in here. So it's going to be hard for you to determine who is the divine feminine, who is the divine masculine. Um, you will also, this connection will even out the energies, the, both polarities within you and them on a personal level and then within the connection. It's going to be a very even connection. There is an equal give and take in this. This is a very supported connection, my loves. No. <laughs> okay. What about the connection spirit? <laughs> Five of Wands. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, hold on. Um, I, I'm just kind of spacing out of this energy and this reading, and um, yeah. Every psychic is a little crazy. So, <laughs> with the Five of Wands, you, oh my gosh, this is so amazing. You're going to travel with this person. You're going to go places and do things that both of you really wanted to do. But it's crazy how you felt like you wanted to do it with someone else. And you fit together perfectly to do these things together. That's so cool. It's like you're finding your partner in crime. I love it, Pile 2. So that's all we've got for you, Pile 2. Oh my gosh, that was such a chatty pile. Such a long reading. Um, I hope you guys resonated. 
Um, if you want to book a session with me right now, I'm all pre-booked. Um, please do not send me emails. The best way to see is if I don't have a commission tab on my coffee page, then I've run out of commissions. Um, the best way really is to just wait around the weekends and check for my story on Instagram for updating the slots to see when I update them and yeah um, I'll be able to receive emails and book outside of my commissions after the end of this month probably so please please be patient with me thank you so much in advance and another disclaimer I'm gonna do something special with these cards on Instagram activations for my star seeds extra messages or it may be another pick a card YouTube reading so we'll see how this goes um, this just feels kind of vulnerable to me, so I may actually post it on my coffee page. So only if you're vibing with this, go and watch it. Um, and yeah, um, the best way to support me and my channel and my work is to like and share and subscribe to the channel. And you can always donate to my coffee page that is linked or um, to my PayPal. I really, really appreciate your time spent here with me. Thank you so much. Hopefully you enjoyed it and I'll catch you next time. Bye. Okay, so. Wow. Oh. Pile three. We're gonna move on with pile three. I'm gonna make a quick pause and I'm gonna go back and you're probably gonna see the timestamp for Pio 3. Hello Pio 3, so for all of you who chose this card, actually I went to take a glass of water because it got super hot in my room and I heard sisters calling. Someone needs to call their sister or their sister wants to talk to them about something important that they haven't expressed, please, if you feel like this resonates with you, please have a conversation with your sis. So Pile 3, this is the intuitive channeled art that you picked with the light language and all that. There's so much Egyptian energy going on in here. <clears throat> okay, so... Pile 3, let's see who is coming into your life. I'm hearing a gypsy soul, a wanderer. Family. This is someone who migrated with their family. Or they migrated away from their family, but wherever they live, where you meet them, they're not from that land. They are a foreigner, they're exotic, they are an immigrant, I believe is the correct way to say it. vision that they have small small lips and very beautiful piercing eyes so it's kind of like <laughs> oh my goodness their face is kind of like big eyes and or just piercing eyes and then bloop, bloop, bloop. small lips they have sharp features they're like a queen or a king of swords Planning and action reversed. Yes, this person struggles with, with visas, with um, their living situation. They struggle with moving, with the documentation because of their nationality, their ethnicity.
Who is coming towards pile three, spirit, please? Present power. They used to be like a lifeguard or a police officer because I actually had a vision of banners and I was thinking I don't think Pile 3 is attracting ex-prisoners in their life but with present power I'm more so getting that they were like the guard or they have a past in boxing They used to, they used to make money with, with muscles. Maybe they were a, um, a fitness trainer, a fitness coach. They used to make money out of their build. I'm getting that this person has worked all types of jobs. They've been very, very diverse in their career field because, I mean, they could have a passion or something, but I'm getting that they're not very focused on a soul mission or a soul passion. They're just focused on surviving, you know? Um, their spiritual values do not manifest in their career. It's not like, oh, what is my soul mission? What is my soul purpose? I don't think they value that as much. I don't think they find career to be the purpose in life. I feel like they value family. And they want to take care of their family. And that's the best thing that they can do. Um, and they think that that's their purpose. And the means are irrelevant. So their career, their job, it doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. As long as they can take care of their loved ones, they can protect their loved ones, um, they are fulfilling their purpose. I'm getting that they, because of this, they may not appear special or unique or whatever. But this is someone with a really big heart and someone very loyal. This person has a lot of Leo placements, a lot of Taurus placements, and maybe Scorpio here and there. Aries as well. But mostly Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Wow, <laughs> commitment reversed. Look at this. They are a bit rough on the edges, around the edges. You know, they're not the most presentable person. <laughs> not that they don't look good or something, but um, their mannerism, their manners are not mm, eloquent. They're more down to earth, chill. <sighs> they may also have Mars in Taurus. They're doing some dirty work. They're, and they're not afraid of it or ashamed of it.
Oh my goodness, back and forth. Look at that. Yeah, they, you guys, they live in two worlds. The world where they are trying to um, gain a place at. And their ethnicity or their ethnical community. They are in between two worlds. This is someone who is trying to make it for their culture and in this new space where they found themselves immigrating to. And a disclaimer, it doesn't matter when you say like dirty work or they used to be a guard or they used to, you know, use their muscles and all that to make money. This could apply to a woman, first of all. Um, second of all, um, if not a guard, still like something to do with strength and the dirty work, physical work, hard work, you know, it can apply to a woman. So... I, I feel like many of you watching this might think of a man when you hear these qualities or we do have a lot of males in the cards but I'm getting like spirit wanting me to confirm that yeah this can apply to a female as well if that's a female if you are interested in a female this can be someone who has kids already or works with children and works in a very rough environment or lives in a rough environment and then goes to work all happy, all ready to go. That's strength as well. This is someone intimidating um, at first sight. Is coming towards fire three, three spirit. Friends and colleagues, people reversed. Seven of pe um, sorry, three of people. Okay, yeah, this person is intimidating, but actually, with their people, with their community, they're so much fun. But they're hiding this behind a very tough exterior. Oh my goodness, okay, pile three, are you ready? This person may reject you the first time you express your feelings or they may push you away some way somehow. Um, it feels like you are from two different worlds. I do feel that. And they may push you away because they're like, you're not built for my world. They may doubt that you can put up with what they're going through. So this is going to be, I, I got to be honest, a bit of a challenging connection. Saturn. Yes, indeed. This is going to be a challenging connection indeed. This is someone responsible AF, very responsible. And you might think this person is so boring. They, they don't know how to have fun. They do and they just feel like, once again, you're not built for their, for their challenges and they don't, they feel like they don't want you to go through that. They don't want to put you through that. Oh 
oh my gosh i picked upon a very heavy message so this is your trigger warning that's gonna be heavy you can skip if you want to one two three okay i picked that for some of you either you or this person lost a dear friend or a family member to drugs they've seen things you pile three this person has seen things i with all the pinks i did not expect this type of energy this person has been betrayed they've seen things they've been in groups and circles where there has been a lot of tough um deep toxicity and tough tough lessons oh my goodness It's very likely that this person travels for work so it's like maybe they don't enjoy tra traveling because they associate it with work and survival uh, surviving who is pile tree attracting in their life aquarius very interesting. I feel like this is you, guys. This is giving me very Aquarius vibes. Very quirky, very fun, and weird, and we've got Aquarius. I want to pull one more card. They may have Saturn in Aquarius, they might be that generation. Wait, D didn't Saturn move in Aquarius like now? <laughs> so if they have a Saturn return now, because Saturn is in Aquarius now, they might be in their early 30s currently. So like, those of you born around the 19s the 90s <laughs> sorry or they are born around that time oh okay okay i'm getting some of you um this person is working with with tech but not high tech. I'm not getting. It's more like a machine, yes. So it's not technology, but like a machine. They're working with machines. Maybe transportation machines or something. Virgo. They're the type of person who really wants to caretake to their lover. They wanna. They like. <laughs> they like their lovers shy and reserved. They really. Oh wow! Yeah, with Saturn, Aquarius, and Virgo, this person really appreciates um subtlety reservedness if that's the, the word for it or just being a bit more reserved um you know kind of keeping some things hidden making people imagine leaving things to people's imagination 
especially about the way you dress about the way they dress as well. They may have the best body in the world, but they wouldn't show it off. And they really, if they're into feminine energy, they love very feminine and like, gentle with that Virgo, virgin-like vibe or energy. If they're into masculine energy, um, They do like someone who is a bit traditional in love, a bit traditional in relationships. Because I'm getting their life is crazy enough, they want their relationship to be steady and peaceful. Who is coming into your life, Pile 3? They are very analytical. In their balancing between being idealistic, they push themselves a lot because they're very idealistic. They're like, you know, I gotta sacrifice all of myself for the family. They have these very high expectations of themselves with, a, uh, with Virgo energy. Perfectionists, very idealistic. And then... Um, they, they try to balance, you know, between that and being practical and realistic and analytical. So actually the ideals, sorry, come from Aquarian energy, that service to others energy. Virgo is also service to others, but it's more grounded. 11th house is more idealistic. It's also about dreams. Whilst... Sixth house, it's more about routine, it's practical. How can I manage my time? What can I squeeze in my schedule? What can I not? So they're juggling between their high expectations and their energy levels. So this person burns out a lot. Oh my gosh. They may have some health issues because of that. The dream angel you have. I think that's the star. Yeah, 17 in tarot, that's the star. Funny, which the star represents Aquarius. The dream angel. They, oh my goodness, you're attracting someone. I feel like you may be like the dream partner for them or they've been idealizing about the moment they're gonna meet the one. This is someone romantic and they don't show it. Pile 3, but they are very romantic. Also, I feel like you would be surprised by the literature and by the types of movies they like, the literature they read, the music they listen to. Their exterior really deceives you, is what I'm getting. Because they have this tough exterior, but on the inside... They're so um, spacey and dreamy, but they only allow themselves to do that at certain points. Wow, number 11, Sophia. So I'm not sure if that's the justice or the strength card, to be honest. But anyways, I'm reading the tarot intuitively regardless. So we've got Sophia, which is wisdom, universal wisdom. This person sees you as someone very wise and smart, but also they are sm they're not just muscles and they're not just physicality and they're not just labor. They are very smart and very intellectual. And I think you may not acknowledge them for this at the beginning. I am getting you maybe drawn to their appearance at first. I feel like they will be very attractive to you. And once you get to know them, you would be like, I want to heal you. However, the more you get to know them, you would see that they're not just physically independent, but also 
psychologically, they're very strong. It's raining outside, by the way, if you can hear. They're also, I'm hearing that they will love your body, so there is nothing to be insecure about. Spirit of Pentacles. Yeah, absolutely. They are rooted and celestial at the same time. I want you to, to, to see the cards. They're so magical, so beautiful. If they invite you home, it's a big deal. They don't let just anyone in their house. I'm hearing security programs and security systems. So they may be big on installing security systems around their home or they've been in security programs. I don't even know what this is. I'm hearing for many of you, you will become their angel. Oh, Lady of Wands, so the Queen of Wands, Four of Cups, and the Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh. Pile 3, you'll be the one in charge of this. Why? Because they're like, I don't want to pull you in my chaos. I don't want to pull you in my struggles. And you will be the one. You will show them that you can persevere yourself. And you are very strong yourself. And you are very loyal. I'm telling you, they, I, I told you, you um, they are very loyal. And I think that they would notice this in you. I feel like you're going to develop a very, very strong friendship. You're going to bond. They're going to discover that you also know what struggling is like and looks like. You also know what the lack of privilege feels like. And you're going to bond over this so much. They're going to realize that you are the one they want to weave their destiny with. But pile three, this relationship depends on you. And I usually don't like to say that. I don't like to put you in a position where you should chase someone. I'm not saying chase them. Obviously, if they have an interest only, then you should put in the effort. But with the Ace of Wands, you've got the power of creation. Of bringing something into existence with the Ace of Wands. You have the power of weaving this destiny you will be the one mapping out the journey for the two of you the destiny for the two of you it's not them they want to take care of you they want to be in charge but in different ways because they recognize your power and your strengths and you have strengths that they don't. You have skills that they don't. You have magic that they don't. Not because they're not special or magical. It's just that you have it in another way. Your magic is different. And they really value it and appreciate it. And they're gonna leave it up to you. Because they feel like you know better than them. And they wanna... They're giving you the full freedom to make a decision for yourself. So, pile three, this is big because you actually have to make a big decision. With the back and forth. You have to make a big decision. Because when this person, if this person feels like you're really stringing them along, they would go, go along with it. They'll be okay with it. But if they feel like you deserve better or you require better, they will gladly leave you because they really 
honor and respect you. So the back and forth energy, if you experience hot and cold energy within, within this connection, it's because you, my loves, are giving mixed signals. You're giving signals of, I can find better, you are the best. That's the energy and they will always comply with you. Because they really want you to make the best decision for yourself. These piles have been so, so healthy. As healthy as a human being can be. Um, I really feel like... I really feel like we're doing some activation here. Yeah, check out my Instagram um, for something special for my star seeds. I'm gonna do a special in the upcoming days activation reading either on YouTube or on my IG with these cards that you picked for each pile. Um, I feel like they have more to bring to the front. So I'll work with them on that. But yeah, this is amazing. They recognize the wisdom you carry. It's so amazing. What about this connection spirit? Anything else that pile three needs to know? You're going to come together and then get, be in separation and then come together again. For many of you, I'm sensing this. Four of Swords and the Temperance. Surrender to the flow of this. But again, you are. You, Pile 3, are in charge of the flow. This connection is going to give you so much freedom. Like, you you have the freedom to make a choice about what's best for you. You have the freedom to either wish this person the best and send them off or blend your lives together and move on together. This is gonna be a choice. This is gonna require a choice on your end only. But yeah, the, the biggest message that I'm getting is that this person would feel selfish for holding you back in certain ways. So... Pile 3, I hope you enjoyed your reading and you resonated with it because that's all I've got for you guys. I'm going to close out the session now. Wow, these piles were intense and I truly hope you resonated with the messages. Um, I went very in-depth about the personalities of these people, so I didn't focus as much on the connection, but I still hope you enjoyed it. So this is your not so much like a single forecast, but rather um, who are you attracting? Who is the next soulmate you're going to be dealing with? So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you resonated. Let me know in the comment section below. If you want to support my channel, the best way to go about it is to like my content, share it and subscribe to my channel. You can always donate to my coffee page or to my PayPal. Um, I do use the donations to like live <laughs> myself, but also to purchase crystals and art supplies to make more art and share it with you but especially crystals because a lot of decks i've received as gifts so i feel greedy for going and buying decks for myself honestly um i've received such beautiful decks from many of you and someone particular especially um i feel immense immense gratitude but yeah crystals are big and i love crystals and they can be a little expensive which the gems of Gaia are so expensive, but anyways, um, this is how we exploit our beautiful planet. Yep, like living naturally, quick side note, 
why living healthy and naturally costs more than eating junk and living a very low vibrational lifestyle. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we live in a very interesting world. So I might discuss some conspiracy theories next time with you guys in another spirituality talk or chat um, here on YouTube. Anyways, Pile 3, I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know and yeah, right now I'm all pre-booked. If some of you want to book a session, please wait for slots to open. If you don't see my commission tab on my coffee page, it means I run out of, of slots. And that's pretty much all that I had to share with you. Thank you for spending time with me. Hopefully I will catch up with you very, very soon. Bye.